As we head over to Chief Meteorologist Marcus Bagwell, all of this beneficial rain, we knew it was an anomaly and we enjoyed it while it lasted. But we have to have a reality check here. It is July in Texas. Yes. Did you notice a difference outside today? Oh, yes, I did. Mm -hmm. Yes. The, the heat and humidity <laughs> is starting to ramp back up. Uh, yes, it has. It's <laughs> made its presence known here in East Texas, and we are about to see the worst of it increase as we get closer to the weekend. But the rainfall that we've had in July, typically not something that we see. Usually for the month of July, we usually average about two and two thirds. That's based off of climatology. In Tyler, we've had over four inches of rain. Longview, you've had just over two inches. The normal for the month is closer to three inches. So that's still really good, even though we're behind just a little bit for the month total. Lufkin, 2.16, the normal for the month there at about 3.05. If we don't get any more rain this month, we can certainly take this as a blessing. However, the downside to that is that we would probably be moving back into more of a drought concern. And I think that's something. It could be coming our way as the rain chances are next to zero over the next few afternoons. Outside for us now, we do have some cumulus clouds left over. Temperatures are into the lower 90s, but the heat index, that's the story. This is what it feels like right now. Feels like 100 in Tyler, 104, Nacogdoches in center. I think a slight anomaly here from the Hemp Hill site reading just a little too high, but either way, it certainly feels very warm across the area. The change that we're going to see is the rain moves away as the upper level disturbance moves off to our northeast. And here comes the upper ridge of high pressure. It started to build in today. It will take over in firm control by Friday and into the weekend. That's really going to suppress any rain chances. That's going to push our temperatures in the upper 90s. And especially by Sunday, we're going to be close to near 100 degrees come Sunday afternoon. And we're even on track to still see hot weather as we head into next week. And that's going to be one of the main stories. And right now, that's why we're dealing with all this heat. You notice here across the state of Texas, we do have a heat advisory out. And that's going to be for western counties at this time. I think more counties will be added in the coming days. Essentially, the heat index will be around or slightly above 105. Here's tomorrow afternoon. This is at 3 o'clock, so peak heating of the day. Some areas as high as 105 to maybe 107 in the afternoon. The air temperature staying into the lower 90s, but they are rising with each passing day, peaking by Sunday as we get close to 100 in the afternoon. Upper 90s through next week as well. There is no no relief coming anytime soon. Maybe a small chance Friday. Notice that in the forecast data today, but not enough to put any precipitation chances in now. It is all about the heat, so your water is going to have to come from the pool. We have been warned. All right, Marcus, thank you.